Cuba, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Puerto Rico. Wait, what? I thought you were Cuba. This is the flag of Cuba. It's made up of five horizontal stripes of blue, alternate with white, and a red equilateral triangle on the hoist with a white five-pointed star. And this is the flag of Puerto Rico. It is made up of five horizontal stripes of red, alternate with white, and a blue equilateral triangle on the hoist with a white five-pointed star. But who got there first, and how can you remember which is which? Well, I guess you could be from either one of these two countries. To answer these questions, let's take a look at each of the flags to understand how they've ended up with this variation of a theme. In alphabetical order, we start with Cuba. Ah, The current version was adopted on the 20th of May 1902, but its design goes back to 1849 when poet Miguel Toro Tolo co-designed this flag with ex-Spanish general Nasi Lopo, which is ironic as the Cubans were fighting for independence from the Spanish. It's a long story. Check him out to find out how he ended up designing this. The three blue stripes related to the three departments Cuba was divided into at the time. The white for purity of the patriot cause. The red triangle is a symbol of strength and equality and a lone star of independence. Hence the name of the flag is Lone Star or Estalia Solitaria in the Spanish. The flag was adopted by the pre-independence group Cuban Revolutionary Party in 1892, and when the United States took control of Cuba from Spain as part of the Spanish-American War, the US flew the star-spangled banner over the country from 1899 until 1902 when the US granted independence and this flag was flown officially as their national flag for the first time. Puerto Rico's flag, on the other hand, was adopted in 1952. That's 50 years after the official adoption of Cuba. Oh, seriously? An original lighter blue version had been in use since the 22nd of December 1895, seven years before Cuba's official adoption. That is maybe, but that's still 46 years after the original Cuban flag design. So in conclusion, while this flag is not as old as Cuba's, it does have an earlier adoption date details. Besides, this was yet another revolutionary flag used during the battles against Spain at the same sort of times. Apparently, it was suggested that Puerto Rico adopt the Cuban flag with inverted colours because their fights were the same purpose against the same oppressor. Allegedly, the Puerto Rican Revolutionary Committee, who were based in New York at the time and somewhere called the United States of America, liked the idea and adopted the notion. Therefore, both these flags are born out of revolution against Spain in the late 1800s. Take that, Espanol! But what's a quick way to remember which is which? Well, one way you could remember is that Cuba has a 1-2 ratio and therefore the triangle looks smaller in comparison to the rest of the flag, but the one because it's called Cuba. Puerto Rico has two words and a ratio of 2-3, and therefore the triangle looks larger in comparison. Okay, I know this is really tenuous to be fair. Why don't you add your ideas in the comments below on how best to remember these two? And if you want to stay confused with similar flags, check out Monaco in Indonesia and play spot the difference while viewing this video because there's an easier way to tell the difference between the two apart. You're going to have to move because the video's right in your face. What? Really? How? Eh, how's that? Is down here all right? Yeah, down there, that's fine. Know your place.